Ari Altman is a composer who is really integral to intersection jazz meets classical song. He embodies this contemporary, personal, jazz-inflected American compositional style in, the, in his own fabulous way, but he also gets how history grounds it and where that meaning comes from. Here's an example of some of his music that we'll include in the project. You'll hear some of the tune that you might recognize if you know the Gluck song, but you'll hear Laurie's interpretation of the subtext. Come dance with me, girl. Dance to my song. Rehearsing this music is so fun. First of all, I get to sit around at the piano and play all the time. Let's do the end, because the end is so funny. <laughs> this is Tibor Harsanyi, and what do you like best about Tibor Harsanyi? I don't know, it's fun to play. Is it? Why? That's a style I don't get to play very much. So. Oh, the stride piano yeah. thing, boom, yeah. chick. Right, I like it because I got to make up extra stuff to do. Because originally, when I first saw this score, it looked like a normal vocalese. But what it really is, is a ragtime piece. Um, Harsanyi is this Romanian guy who showed up in Paris because everybody showed up in Paris in the early 1920s. So this is what he chose to write. Like, we're going to do a little at the end of it. How about we do this part? <laughs> The official launch for Intersection Jazz Meets Classical Song is June 10, when we'll broadcast about 80 minutes of music from the WFMT studios in Chicago. Uh, it'll be the, the whole crew as it stands now with violinist, a cellist, a pianist, and me. Mostly new commissioned works, some older works, a little bit of improv. So it's going to be like nothing I've ever done before. Jazz meets classical song requires performers who are classically trained and jazzically trained and requires us to stretch both directions at the same time. Lots of people in the classical world who love song literature know the music of Francis Poulenc, but for me, it's a real good representation of how long intersection has existed between jazz and classical song. So uh, the project will include some music that's you know, historically grounding, as well as a lot of commissions and really new stuff. I love this music. This music is so glorious. It's so lyrical, it's so pulsy, it's so 
challenging, it's so fun. I love this music. Intersection allows me to share my musical mind and heart in a very personal way. It contributes to the diversity of both jazz and classical music, and I hope it will be an unforgettable experience for listeners.